Hi guys, got another build for you here. Um, this one is, well, it's for Guild Wars 2, it's for the Necromancer, and it's continuing our leveling builds. I'm going to go through and, like, I like pick the weapons and so on, pick the healing and utilities, send the traits, and give you some information about how you can use the build. First thing, obviously, that we want to do is pick our weapons. What you want is the scepter and the war horn. Okay, and you also want the staff, and for your um, water aquatic weapon, you're going to go for the trident. Okay, so I'll pick some um, utilities now <coughs> and explain what skills you get and so on. On number six here, we're going to have summon blood, uh, blood fiend. And we're going to keep that the same there. On number seven, we are going to have summon bone minions. Number eight, we are going to have summon bone fiend. Number nine, we're going to have, there it is, uh, summon shadow fiend. And here, we're going to have, um, for our elite skill, Summon Flesh Golem. I'm going to leave that one um, the same, where well, it's actually greyed out, but we're going to leave that like that. Um, basically, what you've got here is you've got the Scepter and Warhorn. They're your main source of single target damage um, and survivability as well. Always try to cripple the target from the Grasping Dead and Locust Swarm. Um, and you can also use it for a speed boon from Locust Swarm as well. So you can use your staff for events and multiple enemies because the staff gives you a good AoE set as well. So the staff for multiple enemies and the Scepter and Warhorn for single targets. Now, um, your healing and utilities, you've got Summon Blood Fiend. It's basically you get a large amount of healing damage and a moderate cooldown for that. You can change it, change your utilities around depending on what you're facing. But you've got summon bone minions. Summons two small minions that do a small amount of damage. And you can, it, the skill can be activated to force them to explode as well. You've got summon bone fiend. Um, it's a ranged damage minion. It can be activated to have the bone fiend immobilize this target as well. Um, can stop you getting overwhelmed. You've got summon shadow fiend. And that... Um, does a good amount of damage and can be activated to teleport and blind a foe as well. And you've got Summon Flesh Golem, which will um, cripple your enemies and the attacks. And you can, be, you can activate it to charge and knock down a target foe as well. So, let's move on to the traits. Um, curses is the first tree you want to fill out. Basically, I'm going to put 30 on there. Okay, and um, you've got some slot skills we're going to fill up here. You want uh, haemophilia. You want um, uh, uh, banshee's whale. And you want to finish up with a lingering curse. Okay, um, basically that gives you increased critical chance and condition damage and the slot skills that we just put in increase your damage even further so it's pretty straightforward. Death magic is the next one we want to fill out. You want to put 30 on there and you want to um, pick minion master as your slot skill there. Flesh of the Master um, gives your minions more health. And Death Nova. Okay, um, basically it increases your toughness and boon duration. And as you can see, all of these slot skills focus on buffing your minions as well to make them stronger. Now the final tree you want to fill out is Blood Magic. We're just going to put 10 on there, and we're going to pick 
vampiric precision. And uh, basically it gives you more survivability. I mean, as you can see here, siphon health whenever you critically hit. So when you critically hit a foe, you will also get some health. Um, and it actually drains quite a substantial amount of health from the enemy as well. So it keeps you in the game and works very well for the Necromancer to up your survivability a bit. So as I say, this is a um, level 80 build. I will do a breakdown of as you're leveling, so you can follow something as you're leveling. But this is the build that you want to end up with, and it will give you a very strong leveling build. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.